In this video, I'm gonna share with you the top five items that we've added to our Jeep trips that I think have made them more convenient and more enjoyable. You know, we've been going on Jeep rides and camping out of our Jeep for over 20 years now. And through the years, our setup has evolved. And with the explosion of overlanding, it's brought new manufacturers into the market that has brought some of the prices down. And there's new products being introduced really every day to make the quality of the time that you spend a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit more convenient. And today I'm gonna to share with you the top five items that we use right now that I think is really improving our day trips and making them more enjoyable and our camping trips. Hey, I wanna start off by saying that I have no affiliation whatsoever with any of the products that I'm gonna show you today. I paid full price for all of them. The reason that I may sound like a salesman is they've made a difference in the, our trips and I think they may make a difference in yours. So I'm just passing the information along to you. So anyway, you can take it for what it's worth, but uh, I'm not getting paid in any way to promote any of these products. The first item on the list are maps. In particular, a GPS map that you can download to your phone so you can use it offline when you don't have service. I think Google Maps is has got an option to download a small portion of a map, and you're really limited there. I've been using Gaia. Uh, there's other maps out there. I'm just familiar with Gaia. I think $40 a year, you can get a subscription. They offer a seven-day free trial if you just wanted to check it out. But a couple of the ways that we use the maps is... It's on my phone, so I always have it with me. If I'm in a dentist office waiting on my appointment or lunch break at work, I've got it on my phone. I can research possible routes, trails, mark points of interest that I might wanna check out when I'm out there. And while we're exploring, I can track our progress. And if we see a road we wanna explore, we can scroll down the map. And if there's, you know, a possible swimming hole or maybe a campsite we can know we can go down there and check it out if it's just a dead end doesn't go very far dead end road we may pass that up but it really helps us explore and plan our trips so a downloadable offline map i think is is very helpful second item on the list is some type of shade or canopy now we've bought the cheap canopies you get at walmart through the years and they're big and bulky this a moonshade is a seven foot by nine foot canopy rolls up in a bag about the size of a foldable camp chair weighs eight pounds and we've only used it one time um, that was on padre island camping trip we had it set up for three days with a steady 10 15 mile an hour wind blowing off the beach i worried about this awning every day but we never had a single issue with it the construction seems to be top notch I love the portability of it. I can see a lot of different uses. The only downside, I guess, if you call it a downside, is you have to have some permanent structure or solid structure to mount one end of it. It's free, it, uh, supported by two poles on the other end, but you have to have a vehicle or possibly bungee it around a tree or something to support one end of it. So far, I'm really happy with it, and I can see us using this a lot more in the future. Not gonna, not gonna save you in a torrential downpour or a really heavy wind. I don't think you'd be able to use it, but for a light rain or just shade, works great. It comes in a, a bag about the same size as a camp chair, a foldable camp chair. It, it comes with, uh, it really sets up about like a dome tent. You have uh, support poles that bow it out on the top. Although it's just about, I don't know, six foot on the edge, the way it, the way it bows up, you have really have a lot of room when you get under it. It's got some loops that you can fix a light to. Uh, it really offers a pretty good bit of shade. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with the moonshade. 
And this is another product that I think I would buy again if I had to. The third item on the list, soft boxes. Now we've used bags and hard boxes through the years and they, they, they work. The problem with bags, you're gonna get rain and dust in them if you have the top off or the windows down. The problem with hard boxes is they rattle and they're really loud. The contents of the box rattle around and the boxes themselves rattle around and make noise. That's the thing I like the most about the soft boxes is they're super quiet. You know, and you drive around the back roads all day and these rattles, they really grate on you after a while. This is the Kelty window seat. It's 12 by 12 by about 15. I love it. We can throw our paper plates, our, our uh, paper towels, any silverware we might need, coffee pot, whatever. You can put your chips and uh, bread and any snacks. And it's it's not rigid. It, you can throw stuff on top of it and collapse it. But it it so far, it's worked really well to protect our bread and our chips and stuff. I really recommend the soft boxes. Uh, and it also collapsed down when if you're through with it, you can collapse it, fold it down and and get it out of the way. It doesn't take up much space, but soft boxes are another thing that's really, really made our trips a lot more enjoyable. Number four, a 12 volt fridge. You know, I fought buying a fridge for years. I mean, a thousand dollars for a refrigerator when ice is $2 a bag and a Coleman cooler is probably 20, 30 bucks. It's hard to justify that. But on the trip that we took to Padre Island, I decided I wanted to buy a refrigerator. So I did some research. And through my research, I saw several interviews where the interviewer asked, what is the one item that has made the most difference in your trip and you wish you would have bought sooner? And almost unanimously, the answer was a portable fridge. And it's hard for me to disagree with that. I love not having to worry about ice. There's no ice sloshing around when you're on the trail. You don't have to worry about water sloshing out. It's just really convenient. I like this so much. This is a Costway, uh, 42 quart. I think it's the perfect size. I paid about $300 for this refrigerator. So more manufacturers in the market, it's gonna kinda, the competition's gonna bring the prices down a little bit. I'm sure this is a China made refrigerator, but I like it so much when this one does go out, I'm probably gonna buy an upper end Dometic or ARB. This has really made a difference to our day trips and our overnight camping trips. I can still see using a cooler. It's not gonna replace a cooler, like the portability of being able to take a cooler to the beach uh, or in a canoe, but for vehicle use, man, you can't beat a 12 volt fridge. Number five, and I think my personal favorite is a tailgate table. That's another item I've been looking at buying for years. And through my research, this is the this one stood a, apart above all other tailgate tables that I that I researched. This is the Outback Adventures tailgater, and it, while it's not Jeep specific, I think they make one for Bronco too. You just have to have a swing out tailgate. This is the universal mount, so you have to drill holes in your tailgate for the Jeep TJ and install nut certs, but installation was really pretty easy. And what I really like is you don't even know this thing's back here. No rattles. It takes up very little space. I think it's about th two or three inches from the surface of the tailgate. It gives you a lot of work surface. It's really perfect for day trips, really works well on because refrigerators right here where our dry goods are here. It's easy to pull over, make a sandwich when you're through, put everything back, close it up, and you're gone. I love the tailgater. I would recommend it. It's a little pricey, $430 now, I think, uh, but I'd buy it again. I'd buy it all over again. It's a, uh, I think the value's there for it. And the quality, it's really quality made. Stainless steel surface, easy to clean. Replaceable cutting board. If you damage your cutting board, you could replace it. Just a really, 
a quality product and uh, this is my favorite this is my favorite addition to the Jeep in a while. Well, there you go. My top five items that I think have made our trips a little more enjoyable and more convenient. I'm going to leave a link in the description to reviews on all the five items that I talked about today. And I hope this video helps you make your trips a little more enjoyable. Thanks for watching.